Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today, today we got a new Hot Wheels 5 car set. And this is going to be the Hot Wagons. So, number one out of five is going to be the 1964 Chevy Nova Wagon. There's a look at the other cars in the set. You know, the Dotson Bluebird Wagon, that's going to be a huge hit. But for me, it's a custom GTO wagon. Can't wait to crack that one open. But uh, go ahead and take a quick look at them all in the package. And then we'll crack them all open and take a closer look at them. So you've got the custom 66 GTO wagon in a satin black with them, some white us. Uh, Striping on the side. I'm trying to think of what they call that. Scallions or something. Then we got the Dotson Bluebird Wagon 510. Looks pretty damn cool. All white. And then four out of five. It's going to be the Volvo 850 Estate Wagon. Pretty cool. Definitely liking these. They have plastic tires on them, but they're really freaking cool. Got full detail on them. Um, that was a 2017 Audi RS 6 of Bont. Let me go ahead and crack these open. First one's going to be the 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. Really nice card art on these. If you're a carded collector, these are pretty cool. I am not a carded collector, so they will be tossed into the recycling. But About time they came out with a wagon release. I don't know if they ever had a wagon release before. I'm sure they have. It's Hot Wheels, but I don't remember one. Now, this one does have a metal base, so that's cool. For your $3, at least you're getting a metal base. And I kind of like them wheels on this. Front and rear detail. These probably be good on a track. One, they're a wagon. They're already big. And they have a metal base. Be heavy. They want to bring back high-speed track cars though they got to bring back the high-speed wheels they had heck were them wheels called darn it but they were real they were nickel plated that's what made them so fast so the one i really had to get the set for is going to be this flat black pontiac gto absolutely love my gto's my favorite muscle car Flat black, definitely one of my favorite paint schemes. This one too has a metal base. Awesome, awesome casting. Love how they didn't do no funky color windshields or nothing with any of these. And number three out of this set is going to be the one that everybody's going to be after. Is this Dotson Bluebird Wagon 510. Now, I'm not sure if the price of these have come down on eBay. But people were asking quite a bit for this five-car set. Now, I think they're like three three fifty dollars from Walmart. So, the set, five cars, that's what? 15 bucks, less than 20 bucks for the five cars, right? Yeah, be less than 20 bucks for the five cars. On eBay, I think they were selling for, like to say, $45. Might have even been more than that. So look, we do have the dog in the back on this one. Not all of them have the dog. It's part of the interior. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Definitely my favorite out of the set. Not even going to wait to end of the video to tell you. Uh, you can go ahead and comment down below your favorite out of this set. But mine's definitely going to be the GTO. The whole reason I had to pick up the set was that by the time I bought the GTO off of eBay and bought this one off of eBay, I might as well have just bought the whole set. So, I kind of like the Volvo wagon too, kind of collect that a little. Uh, the Audi wagon, I got a ton of releases of it already, so why not have another? But, definitely happy to add this to the collection. Try and pick up every wagon when they come out. And the next one, number four out of five, is going to be the Volvo 850 at State. And if there was a chase in this, would they have the chase on the back? I almost think they would. And also on the chase, well, no, this is four out of five. The chase, it could be zero out of five. I think a lot of the chases, aren't they? I'm not sure. I'm so behind on Hot Wheels. Just got overwhelming for me trying to keep up. But the next one's going to be the Volvo 850 State Wagon. And this blue Volvo paint scheme. Pretty cool paint scheme. I kind of like it. Then the last one out of this set is going to be the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Helps me out every su new subscriber I get. And just in case you were wondering, this one has a metal base, the Volvo. The 510 has a plastic base, even though they do have a variation of this casting with a metal base. Not sure why they went with the plastic. They should have kept them all metal if they could have. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure that has a metal base. Yeah, they got to have a premium release version of that with real riders. That would probably have a metal base. And this one. That is a metal base. Is this one a metal? You know what? This one is metal. I think they're all metal. Yeah, that that's definitely metal. So they all have a metal base. How about that? This is the first five car set I've seen that had all metal bases. I think. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes... One of their five car sets will throw like one car in there that has a metal base. Like they had a Ferrari that had a metal base not long ago. Love the front end on these Audis. I don't know why. I just like the big grill on them. These are probably definitely my least favorite wheels out of any of the wheels that they used. Are definitely my least favorite out of the five. Good detail all around, though. So, comment down below which one's your favorite wagon. Of course, my favorite's a Pontiac GTO. That thing is just too freaking awesome. But, love to have it in flat black. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And as always, have an awesome day.